Hey, it's Andrew Huang. Do you want to hear some really old tracks of mine? Of course you do, you clicked on this video. Just a bit of backstory, I was reminded of these tracks because I was doing that patch design for Europa that you might have seen in my last video. <laughs> Giveaway is running until June 9th, by the way, if you want to enter for a chance to win this awesome plugin. Since Europa started as an instrument in Reason, it got me thinking of all these tracks I made in Reason and never shared. These were done in Reason 2.5, which would make them about 14 to 15 years old. So I filmed this whole thing where I listened to these tracks for the first time in forever, uh, but it ended up feeling kind of out of place in my last video, which is why I'm making this video. So here are a bunch of my old tracks and my reactions to them. Starwipe. I remember this one because it had like 30 different tracks. It was about experimenting with all these different layers of synthesizers and trying to do something a little different to each one to add to the texture. I gotta say, I'm still really into this sound design. Predictable little plucky sound. Oh, change it up with some organ now, Andrew. This being the first track where I used uh, an explosion sample instead of a crash cymbal. I remember being so happy when I figured out this synth sound. This is one of the first times I really felt like I had something that was constantly moving and really dynamic. Okay, going on a little long. I like this beat, but there's something a little off about it. Maybe how it's mixed. And I'm just noodling on the synthesizer. I, I played this in live, I remember. I also remember trying to be really original with my chord progressions, which is like... They're okay moments here, but overall it, it's, it's so aimless. Alright, so this one's pretty much just a jam with myself. Like, it just... goes. This is a fun one. As you can tell, I was really into these complicated textury beats. I'm trying to get weird with my chords. All right, I think that's enough. I'll put those tracks on my Patreon. Uh, there's a fifth one too. I'd be interested in your thoughts though. Uh, were these tracks any good? Was this interesting for you to hear? 
And that's the spot in the last video where I transitioned to talking about the plugin. So I'm just awkwardly cutting it off right now because I feel like I need to properly outro this. I hope this doesn't feel like just a garbage video. I'm actually excited to be sharing the weird music I made back in the day. I hope you enjoyed it on some level. Uh, go enter that giveaway if you want a chance to win Europa. Gently feather dust the like button and I will see you again soon with some new music shit. Oh, <laughs> my